Hi Aquarius, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your mid-October reading. I'm using the regular playing cards. Uh, on the back there is Van Gogh's Starry Night, which really attracted me. And so um, I, I'm ready to cut the cards already. I was shuffling before I started the camera and cards jumped out. So your underlying energy already has jumped out and this is a passionate meeting. Love is gonna grow. Something's growing here, okay? Emotionally. So I'm gonna cut the cards. Cause they just like, as soon as I, I'm kind of doing random and, and Aquarius just came to my head. So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna do Aquarius. And these cards jumped right out while I was shuffling. So that's why. So I kind of want to show you how I do this here. And I'll pull the camera down while I'm laying them out. All right. So I always uh, lay them out face down and then I turn them over as I go. I've always done it this way with these cards. Just, it's these cards I do this with. So sometimes different cards, you'll do different things, right? And I kind of like it because you deal with one thing at a time and then you pull it all in together. So the bottom of the deck, Ace of Diamonds. Ooh, okay. So, well, we'll leave that turned over. So this is communication. <laughs> I think you're going to be asked out for a date, to tell you the truth. I think this is a passionate meeting. Love is going to grow. And this is communication. Like, I think you're... Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get asked out is what I'm thinking, or or you're asking someone out, one or the other. All right. So this is where the present moment, where you are now. Ooh, wow, very nice. Nine of diamonds, ten of diamonds, and seven of diamonds. Are you okay, Mel? Okay. Um. So this is um. You could be expecting money um, or or you get a, a surprise of money a windfall in some way um, like it seems um, it's also saying you're very ambitious and you're able you're good at saving money perhaps you've been putting money away or trying to save money um, and I, I think you've got a plan in mind, something to do with it. You're saving up for a reason. You have some sort of plan. Maybe you're thinking of buying a house or something like that, but you're you're putting money away, it looks like. Also, for some of you, it could be a surprise windfall. Um, um, yeah, surprise windfall or a raise. I don't see work there. So this is just coming in right away. You have the five of clubs, the ace of hearts, and the eight of um, spades. Um, well, uh, looks like confusion maybe to me in, in the realm of the heart. It looks like there was some words about feelings here um it could be the very beginning of something like not even a relationship yet just fond of each other and it seems like something's going wrong almost before it gets started uh somehow you're in the doghouse you're in trouble already um You, I think you might think it could be something good for you, something stable. It could grow. It could grow, but you're in the hot seat right now, it seems to me, okay? Someone's someone's mad about the way it's going or the way it's growing, all right? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's still at the ace, and they're like, what the hell's going on? How come we're still at the ace? <laughs> you know? Um, so, uh, this is on your mind and you have the eight of diamonds, the jack of clubs and the queen of clubs. 
Queen of Clubs is usually a brown or hazel-eyed woman. Clubs are doers. They're like fire signs a lot. They're very uh, creative, active, you know, um, social. So this is about talking about a friendship here with this person. Um, and when these people come up, Aquarius, you could be any one of these people. You have to decide where you fit into this reading. But um, so you could be this brown eyed woman or male or female, I should say. So um, and the eight of diamonds is about talking about, uh, you know, investing in something. And this is a friendship here. You want it to open up communication. or You're thinking about this opening up communication about you know getting closer getting uh building up a friendship here with this person right getting to know them better um this is usually your achievements and goals and you have another eight this is your third eight lots of communication lots of talking here this is with another female blue-eyed this time this is flirting and love talk and so there could be a woman at work that you're doing a lot of flirting with um, and you could there could be some gossip going on about you guys flirting flirting flirty talk or something like that so there could be people talking about it or gossip or um, you know, it's funny in these two piles, they're like identical. You got the ace jack queen and you got the ace queen jack, like in these two piles. So you could have, you could be working on a couple of things. You could have your hand in a couple of, couple of cookie jars here. Um, but I see that you're communicating a lot. And um, I think this person around the job site is the one you're really uh interested you got your you know you you think about a lot this one is more friend uh i think you're thinking of it as a long-term friend investment this person um so this is your influences your outer influences the two of diamonds the nine of spades and the six of spades so uh, the two of diamonds is a meeting, usually financial, like how you're investing yourself. And the, the nine of spades is bad news, trouble. It's trouble, and so is the six of spades. This is a bad move. Um, someone has made a bad move, or um, it's like you're getting your hand slapped here, and it's, and it's a place... It's something you have, uh, some sort of investment for you, whether that's in a relationship, at work, whatever it is, you're getting your hand slapped because there's some sort of bad news, a bad move here, some sort of bad move, okay? This is the foundation. Ooh, nice, nice. Uh, you're getting a, a lot of nines. So you have three eights, three nines. Isn't this funny? The three eights are up here, and the three nines are down here, okay? Nines are all the change. Eights are the communication that make this change happen. And and nines are also your last sort of challenges to get to the 10, the last sort of thing you gotta do to get to the 10. And here in your foundation is the nine of hearts, the four of diamonds, and the six of clubs. So this is really good because the nine of hearts, this has already happened. You've already put this into motion, even if you don't realize it. And so it, this is the best intentions, right? You, you have the best intentions and you're trying to um, fulfill your, your goals and wishes, right? And the four of diamonds is about um, being at a crossroads, not undecided in your investments you know not sure uh what to invest in what way to turn and it seems like like i said you got your hands in a few cookie jars here you do want to invest yourself because you want to take steps 
in um, your stability and security and comfort. You're trying to get all your ducks lined in a, up in a row so that um, you're more stable. I think you want a little bit of everything. You know, you want to feel, you want to love, you want, um, uh, I think you want financial stability too, maybe not wealth, but not having to worry if you can afford to go out for dinner or not. And, um, and this is more like job stability, um, enjoying um, finer things. Also, um, your, uh, how you stimulate yourself, like where you're, where you're going in life. You, I, I think that this is combined with someone. You want to put these roots down with someone. Okay. And there's going to be some changes happen, but a lot of it, I think is, is, going to change how you communicate like your communication is going to cause change but it's also going to cause change in your communication so it's going to come back around like a boomerang not in a negative way like a little bit you're, you're getting your hand slapped here well here and here a lot of mirroring going on in this reading um but um you're learning because you're talking way better <laughs> to these two people over here. Okay, and your surprise pile. This is your surprise because you don't really see it coming even though I'm telling you about it. Uh, seven of clubs, two of clubs, and the queen of spades. The queen of spades, um, I see her is, first of all, she's usually a very dark-eyed male or female. Could be dark-skinned as well. But also she is known as the widow, the widower, single. Um, uh, she's been abandoned kind of thing, you know. So um, this is worried. There's some sort of concern, I think, after a meeting with this woman. You, uh, I get the feeling you might be concerned. Um, she could be depressed or... Um, maybe you're worried about, um, she's making you worry. Her behavior is making you worry or she's causing worry. She's, she's causing worry for you. The cause of your worry. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So somehow this is a surprise for you or maybe when you realize it or maybe you'll think, oh, geez, you know, she, every time she comes in, she causes problems. She, she puts doubt into my mind. She, you know, is, it could be very negative person. Could be, okay. Um... But anyway, on the, the the most part here is you're turning things around. You're trying to right wrongs and do better. Um, you're learning from, I think you're learning from getting your hand slapped here. And also this person saying, you know, what the hell like is going on here? We're still at the ace. And so, um, and, and maybe this person is saying... Hey, you know, what the hell's going on? We're still at the two. So lots of communication. Plus you got this ace up here. You got the two best aces as well. Very positive, doors opening. Um, so I just think you're learning. Um, you're tweaking. You're tweaking your style or something, your relationships. You're tweaking them, okay? Anyway, I hope you like this reading, Aquarius. I hope it helps you on your path somehow. Maybe not the whole reading is for you, but there's a message in here for you somewhere. I have tarot readings on my channel as well, Tinker Tarot. So if you like this reading, please hit that like button 
and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free to subs to subscribe. <laughs> and I hope you have a good month. Take care. Bye.